on wind of any dragon infestation, Chimera. Ever the voice of reason, Speaker. Ah, here comes someone who can help us now. Ah, Vestige. How good of you to attend me. As I was saying to Lord Goresh Ree and Chimera, competent help remains at a premium in this remote province, which is why I sent for you. We must once more join forces to save elsewhere from a rage of dragons. So much better than flock or herd, don't you think? The Khajiiti Defense Force isn't prepared to deal with a threat as big as dragons, especially since they were fighting to liberate Rimmon when the huge beasts arrived. Stay focused. We'll deal with that later. Right now, we must assist the Defense Force. Rendezvous with us at their command post. On your way, however, I have another task for you. I detected a series of power surges that I want you to investigate. I was formulating a spell to track the dragons when I noticed several surges of arcane energy not far from here. They reminded me of an old acquaintance. Has a way with portals. If it is him, I want you to secure his help against the dragons. Hard to say with certainty, but I don't believe so. They remind me of Sir Cadwell, who somehow opens portals with a power of similar intensity. Check the locations I marked on your map before you make your way to the defense camp. Lord Garish Ree is the Speaker of the Main and the Commander of the Northern Elsewhere Defense Force. His aide, Kamira, serves as both a diplomat and a spy, though she would never call herself that. If you want to know more, feel free to ask them. My half-sister, Euraxia, conquered Rimmon and other parts of Northern Elsewhere about six years ago. The Khajiiti Defense Force has slowly been taking back their province, but Rimmon is well fortified. And now, because of the dragons, things are worse. A militia drawn from the prides of Northern Elsewhere. Garish Ri, the Speaker of the Main, has taken command during this crisis. With Dominion troops busy fighting the Three Banners' War, the Defense Force must deal with the Euraxians and the Dragons. Ah yes, of course you do. He does get around. If Cadwell turns out to be the source of the power surges, learn what he's doing out there and ask if he will aid us against the Dragons. For all his eccentricities, he has talents we can utilize. You're responding to Abnur Tharn's letter, one of the promising adventurers. I hope you can help us. But where are my manners? Welcome to Riverhold and the province of Northern Elsewhere, also known as Anequina. I am the Speaker of the Main. A position in which I've served faithfully for many years. I represent our spiritual leader, the Main. In addition, I command the Northern Elsewhere Defense Force during this time of trouble. We're dealing with more than just dragons, unfortunately. A few years ago, Abnor Tharn's half-sister, Euraxia, conquered Rimen and parts of Northern Elsewhere. We recently liberated Riverhold and were about to do the same for Rimen when the dragons appeared. It's almost as if they came to her aid. Do what Abnor Tharn asked. Just as he once served as advisor to emperors, he has agreed to help me formulate strategies and tactics for use against the dragons. It is the least he can do, since he had a hand in setting the horrid beasts loose. <sighs> Another outsider comes to elsewhere, as if we did not have enough problems between Abner Tarn and the dragons. Ah, do not mind me. Great beasts rampaging through my homeland tends to put me in a foul mood. I am Kamira, 
I assist the Speaker of the Main and serve as his agent. With both the Usurper Queen and the Dragons ravaging Northern elsewhere, there is much for me to do. Too much, I fear. But I will persevere. What can I tell you that you cannot guess? That these fearsome creatures of legend have returned to threaten elsewhere? That much is obvious. Damn it. This is all Abner Tharn's fault. Dark moons, take him. <sighs> that arrogant Imperial. For an advisor to emperors and a renowned battle mage, he demonstrates a disturbing lack of caution. It was Abner Tarn who entered the halls of Colossus and released the dragons. He says that was not his intention, but... <sighs> what do my beliefs matter? Dragons have come to elsewhere, destroying everything I hold dear. As the moon singers say, the path to oblivion is paved in good intentions. So damn Abner Tharn. Damn him for unleashing this terror upon us! Azazel, never touch a Daedric monster, especially a dead one. Don't be such a nervous nature. <laughs> the dead can't hurt us. It stinks of cold harbor. Perhaps one of the Usurper Queen's Don't touch the soul. dead thing, Theduna tells me. Like I don't know how to handle a Daedric corpse. I wonder what killed it. Maybe it ran afoul of a dragon. I saw you, traveler. Why do all outsiders insist on acting suspiciously? I watched you go from location to location, just like the man with the pot on his head. Are you one of the soldiers intent on digging up every plot of land? Or are you simply a deviant who enjoys skulking and slinking through the wilderness? Oh, do not play innocent with me, stranger. You must be working with that pale, gaunt fool with the ridiculous mustache. Why 
Why else would you be visiting the same places that he did? Unless... Are you an agent of the Usurper Queen? Euraxia, the hated Imperial who conquered Rimen and falsely claimed to be its queen. Do not feign ignorance, outsider. I had just about enough of that when I talked to the man with the pot on his head. Ugh, you sound as confused as he was. Kept talking to his pet lizard bird like he expected it to answer. Uh, the last I saw, he headed east. I suppose you'll find him in that direction, and south of Riverhall. Just stop skulking around. Uncanny! It looks just like that lovely place I dreamed about. Must be why my portals... Ah, hello there! Good to see you again, old chum. Have you come to pay your respects, too? It was the strangest thing. I dreamed I was looking at this very gravestone. So here I came, and there it is. All solid and everything. Important? I have no idea. I suppose it must be. I saw it in a dream, after all. Or was it a vision? I get those two confused. Anyway, I felt a sort of pull and stepped through a door, and then pish posh, honors abandoned, gra, and here I am. Than, you say, the grumpy battle mage. How is the old boy? The surges were probably just me. My portal took a few tries before we honed in on this exact location. Now, why don't you take a look at the gravestone and see what you make of it, hmm? Well, it took a few tries to find the exact spot I saw in my dream. A number of frightfully rude lads and lasses occupied the first location I visited, demanded my surrender, if you can imagine such a thing. Naturally, I gave them the old heave-ho. Foul smelling, I'll have you know, that was my lunch. Can't believe I lost it. And if by bantam bois you mean my faithful steed, Honor, well, he's always getting into my foodstuffs. Has the appetite of a mammoth and the cunning of a fox, that one. Dispatch? Why would I do such a terrible thing? I adore those adorable pudge buckets. Alas, Scrooge was standing a little too close when I opened my portal. Poor thing fell in and took a nasty spill. When the neck bone snaps, it makes an awful sound. Were the words the same for you? Sometimes written language likes to confuse me. Words change and switch places. Very annoying. Anyway, the gravestone mentions the betrayer. Sounds like a dastardly chap. Wonder if I ever met him. I don't have the slightest idea. The words inscribed upon it conjure up all kinds of questions, though. Who is this betrayer? 
whom did he betray? Why did they bury only his head? And where did they put the rest of the poor fellow? I, I, I don't have a clue. Dragons? I haven't battled a dragon since. You know, I, I, I can't remember, but I'm certain I fought one or two in my day. I was a gallant knight, after all. Of course I'll help. I'll just need to do a little more digging into this dream thing first. Did you hear that, my trusty shovel? Dragons and mysterious graves. It's just like old times. Now you show up. Left me to deal with a dragon all by myself. It's a good thing I'm Abner Tharn and not, well, some lesser mage. I discouraged it. But not before it laid waste to most of the camp. We arrived to find the outpost being overrun by undead. Then the dragon attacked. I did what I could. I fear it wasn't enough. What about the power surges? Did you learn anything? The Betrayer? Hmm. There's a Betrayer mentioned in the legends of Kunzari. It seems those stories continue to hound me. No matter. We can deal with that later. Right now, I want to know about Cadwell. Has he agreed to lend us his support? That doesn't surprise me. Cadwell and Strange go together like hot bread and butter. I need to recover my strength. Driving off that dragon took a lot out of me. Why don't you go help Chimera while I keep watch in case the great beast returns? Kunzari, hero of the Marithic era. Most of the legends are unbelievable, though the Khajiiti moon singers guard the secret history. Their tales led me to the halls of Colossus. But let's save this for a less dangerous time. Tell me about Cadwell. Damn us for arriving too late. I did not expect to find our militia under assault by a horde of undead. And then the dragon. Oh, it tangles the tail, Walker. It truly does. The militia was already depleted from the fight to liberate Riverhold, but we were determined to press on toward Rimen. Between the undead and the dragon, though, we can barely hold this portion of the outpost. Retreat is not an option. Not yet. Our resistance to Euraxia's rule requires more than just soldiers. There are intelligence reports, safe house locations, lists of supporters, documents we cannot afford to lose. Search the ruined camp and locate the documents, Walker. They are vital to our efforts to free Rimen from Euraxia's rule. And if her forces acquire them, those who help us will be exposed. Recover the documents from Mail Sacks in the camp and get them to Captain Nalado. Then meet us to the south. <laughs> 